Hi, my name is Tori Chandel Cox, and I'm the Virginia G. Schrader Curator of Art at the Evansville Museum. And today we're going to talk about this piece, Vanitas 11 by Hiroshi Hawakawa. This piece was recently purchased at our last mid States exhibition that we had in 2018. The juror was Philip Jackson, and what he really appreciated about this piece is this is graphite on paper, and how the artist was able to intricately get these shadows and these creases and that beautiful curvature in the spine really spoke to the juror, which is why he noted that we had to have this piece. And to give you some background information, Hayakawa was born and raised in Japan. He earned a Bachelor of Arts in French Literature from Kyo University in Tokyo. After a short stint working as a computer systems engineer, he decided his love of life was making art. In 1991, he relocated to the United States and earned his Bachelor of Fine Arts in Photography and Fine Arts at the Columbus College of Art and Design and a Master's of Fine Art and Photography at Cranbrook Academy of Art. Since his school days, his primary artistic medium has been alternative photography with an emphasis on liquid emulsion. However, his artistic direction has recently changed. In addition to alternative photography, Hayakawa now incorporates kinetic sculpture work, photography works, drawings, and paper craft book projects. And in fact, he just celebrated his third publication in creating craft books in 2014. And so he was invited to this exhibition uh, because he does live in Columbus, Ohio, and teaches at Columbus College of Arts and Design. And he does exhibit um, art nationally and internationally. And we're very, very blessed to not only have this piece in our permanent collection, but we'd like to take you to the old gallery and show you something really fun. So let's go take a look. So now that we're in the old gallery, is there something behind me that looks familiar? We have Vanitas number 18 by Hawakawa in our current exhibition, the Mid-States Art Exhibition. And what's great about this is we definitely appreciate when the artists find a connection to Evansville Museum and to this exhibition and submit artwork um, to the competition. And what's wonderful about this comparison that we have um, one of these works in our collection already is that a new juror comes in every year. And so this year our juror was Catherine Huff from the High Museum. and. It's just amazing that she picked, too, another work by Hawakawa to enter into um, this jurid exhibition. Now, what's fun about seeing this is there's a lot of the same textual uh, information in this piece that you saw in the one in our permanent collection. So it actually almost looks like the same model. I don't want to assume because I don't know. But look at, again, there's just that beautiful texture and that beautiful lines and shadowing and creases in the sheets. And as you saw, in the main gallery, she was seated with that skull. She's laying down in this curvical shape, and then there's this beautiful piece of fruit up here. So what do you think the artist is trying to convey here? What do you think this fruit means? What do you think the skull meant in the other piece? Well, we'd love to hear your opinions. And again, thank you to the artists who not only continue to participate in the Mid-States, but also contribute annually to the competition Thank you.